Listening for the Promise, the weekly devotional, the 10th Sunday after Pentecost, August 9th, 2020. If you comprehended the expanse of the earth, declare if you know all of this. From Job, we heard this in today's first reading. We are human beings, male mortals, that we are, sure we do, ask a lot of questions of God. We want to know why He isn't there when we need Him. How could He let tragedies happen? And why won't He answer when we call? We sure do think of a lot of ourselves, don't we? That we would be so bold as to demand an answer from the one who created everything out of nothing is either very brave or totally audacious. Who do we think that we are? Job was considered to be an upright man, according to God. In the saga, the enemy, Satan questioned God as to the motivation of Job's, Job's faithfulness. As the story unfolds, Job left about everything as he is put to the test. He suffers great pain and hardship, and grows weary of the circumstances. Everyone around him seems to have an answer. Many blaming Job himself for the pain he's experiencing. By chapter 13, Job challenges God, saying, Then call, and I will answer, or let me speak, and you reply to me. How many are my inclinations and my sins? Make me know my transgressions and my sins. Why do you hide your face and count me as your enemy? Job cannot imagine what he has done to deserve such a faith. God takes his time when it comes to answering Job. His response is more of a question turned back on the sufferer. God's reply points to our human audacity towards him as we, too, question the one who laid the foundations of the earth, the one who sets the stars in space. The one who speaks through a whirlwind. God asked Job, Have you commanded the morning since your days began, and caused the dawn to know its place, that it may take hold of the skirts of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it? Have you entered into the springs of the sea, or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you? Or have you seen the gates of the deep darkness? God's challenging questions puts us in our proper place. We are part of the creation. We are not on par with the Creator. God's ways are too wonderful for us. But therein lies the awesomeness of it all. Next time when we get to questioning Him, someone might want to remind us of this. Amen. Use the permission of the soul of publishing.